I'm proud of the fight my team showed um, in closing a ball game. If, if anyone's been following, they realize that we've been winning games in the first parts of the game, but we have not yet found the right uh, antidote to finish it. And um, I would love to think this is a jump forward to expedite our growth in closing out games. Um, what I'm excited about most is the fact that we out-rebounded Delaware State by 10. That was definitely an emphasis, um, especially after our last ball game. And um, I think our girls are understanding rebounding is key. Okay. Obviously, uh, Pollard, very talented player. Yes. Uh, how do you game plan for, for her? Um, this is a very difficult task to game plan for a scorer. She's a scorer. Um, she can score mid-range. Um, she doesn't shoot that many threes, but she's a threat. She's a powerful player, and um, she gets herself to the free throw line. So um, I think we did an excellent job, I mean, especially in the second quarter. After lighting us up in the first, we made a concerted effort to, to, to minimize her shot attempts and to slow her down, be a little bit more physical in the second quarter. She found her rhythm in the third, but I think Ashlyn, um, Lockhart did an excellent job being physical, knowing where she is, and trying to keep her off the glass. Again, um, I, I don't think that any scorer can be stopped for 40 minutes. Um, she ended up with many more points than we would have expected, but I think a lot of those came from from our free throw attempts. So um, you game plan by always recognizing where she is, um, vocalizing on the court where she is, talking about it, knowing where she is, being physical with her, and putting a body on her. Start was kind of back and forth. Couldn't mm -hmm. get any uh, couldn't get any cushion on them. But then mm -hmm. that second quarter, you talked about you outscored them twenty to nine. What was the secret? What was going well during that second quarter? I think we recognized what was going well, which was getting the ball inside, um, playing our transition game, and then minimizing our turnovers. I mean, I was pleased that the first half we we um, probably had the fewest turnovers we've had in a while, if not this entire season. So I think we were very cautious with the ball and very um, intentional with where we were trying to get our shots from. And then what did you see during that run that Delaware State came back up 15 and then all of a sudden they, they came back and took a lead? What did you see during that time? Well, I saw growth in my squad. I mean, my focus was on uh, the Eagles with how we react. Um, to a run because in basketball those things happen. Um, unfortunately, we've been on the, the losing end of the runs a few times, but this time we were victorious, so I saw some growth. But what I saw was they went to their go-to. Um, everyone in the building knows Pollard. Uh, Pollard knows, and her teammates understand uh, where their bread is buttered. Um, but I did see, like I said, I did see us, including our guards, go in with some fierceness making sure that we secured rebounds that were extremely important. And um, that's what I'm most proud of. Okay. You mentioned Ashlyn uh, Locker, Chief. Do you think this is a breakout game for her with those 13 points, seven boards? <laughs> I think she's breaking out slowly, but surely. She's not all the way out of the bag. She got a foot out of the bag. But uh, she's very capable. Um, and they push each other. I mean, the post um, and Coach Jason Harris has done an excellent job, along with Coach Woodard, in challenging them daily. Um, every day, we've given them personal goals today. It was a rebounding situation, and Ashlyn took it to heart. Um, to be honest, she wasn't even supposed to start this game today, but uh, she showed me something in shoot-around today, and um, I'm glad that she followed through with it this evening in the ball game. I'm going to go with a yes. That's a breakout. We'll see more of Ashlyn Lockard. Um, as well as the other players on our squad. Um, uh, Keisha White, she's finally finding her rhythm. The fact that we had four players in double figures, um, I'm proud of that because we understand that we play our best basketball when we share it. I don't think we had 10 assists in a half from at any point in this year. And I do think that that was our number. Uh, we didn't finish with as many assist in the game because we turn the ball over a little bit. But I think sharing the basketball, finding the better shot, uh, giving up the good shot for the better shot, I think that's something we're learning to do. Yeah. Keisha White, she came off the bench again. You mentioned she had 12 points. Some of them, there was a time in the last couple of minutes where she made a big play to give you guys a little bit of separation. Just talk about a little bit more on her play. Keisha White is, again, I, I tried to tap her as probably 
the rookie of the NIAC last year. Um, she got a late start, and I think now she's finally finding rhythm, getting back in shape after knee surgery. Quiche knows how to play the basketball game. Her tempo is um, it's deceptive. She's intentional with what she's trying to do with the basketball. She's not as confident in her outside shooting right now, so she's gotten a couple of turnovers, travels, trying to hesitate and get to the rim. Um, when her comfort is shooting the ball and then allowing the defense to press up and then she can get into the paint at will. We need her to play consistently. I need her to uh, be a defensive stopper uh, for us. and That way she can be a two-way player. But she's always going to be an offensive threat. She sees the floor. She makes great passes, and she's an unselfish player. So she's a great part. Shantae Totten, I must say, also um, crashed the boards like a beast today from the guard position. And um, Rodnesha Martin, I can go on and on. She hits some big shots, really big shots down that stretch for us. So proud of our players. Intensity and the support on the court and off the court on the bench, most definitely. And we came in with better energy in practice, everything, all week was good. And Coach talked about how big rebounding was today, and you all out-rebounded them by 10. Talk about the intensity on the glass. Uh, Whenever we out-rebound a team, we end up with a victory. So we knew what we had to do today, and we didn't want it to be the same outcome as last time. Okay. And when I asked Coach if this was a breakout game for you, she said, well, she's partially out. Not a full <laughs> breakout, but she's partially out. How much momentum did you feel that you uh, brought to the team today? I felt like I brought a lot, but I couldn't do it without my teammates because majority, they really did support me on and off the court. And they've been waiting for that. Like They've been supporting me all season for me to have a breakout, because they see it in me more than I see it in myself sometimes. Okay, in the first half, when you knocked down that three, the, the bench got, got on their feet and started yeah. cheering, laughing. Did you, can you feel that energy, and does that lift you up? That does lift me up. It lets me know that my teammates are there for me. All right. Talk about the uh, the second half. They, kind of, they came back at you after having a 15-point lead. They took a lead. How did you all manage to stave them off and, and come away with the victory? Keep the same intensity. Basketball is a game of runs, so they got their run, but we didn't let that affect us. Okay. And also, we talk about rebounding. The guards contributed as well. Shante Tom got in there, Ranisha Martin, even, even the guards got into the action. Six rebounds for Toddy and five and five for Kyra and Rod. So, what does that mean to you? You know, it's not just you and the other, the other bigs down there, but you got some help with the guards. That helps out a lot. As a team, that helps out a lot. Anything else that you want to add? I'm just thankful for this team, the coaching staff, and everybody that's been supportive all season, and it's only up from here. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.